Welcome friends to Storytime with Tiffany. Today's book is about dragons. <laughs> this story is called The Truth About Dragons. It is written by Jamie Zollers. The stories about dragons are true. Dragons roam wild, have terribly sharp teeth, and hunt day and night. Dragons tower and hover and smother until there's almost no sunshine left. But the real truth about dragons is that their socks don't always match. <laughs> dragons are hungry, dragons devour. Like rascals, they rattle and rumble and roar and clamor and thunder and crash until the air is thick and fierce. But the truth about dragons is that even the roaring need their rest. Dragons are boastful, they swagger and crow. Though many have talents that whisper, dragons are wanderers of wetlands and wilds and hunters of relics and rocks for their pockets. Dragons are seekers and fearless believers that ruling their castle is better with friends. But sometimes they challenge and pick and provoke and nettle and needle and pester and poke. Sometimes they dare you to be your own knight. But they see a dragon instead. Dragons are testy, dragons may snap, and sometimes they're sorry but can't find the words. So the real truth about dragons, the one stories don't say, is that we all see dragons until one day. This little girl saw dragons, but in the end, what did they turn into? Kids. My favorite part about this storybook is the illustrations. I love the colorful pictures. I love the little girl and the children involved with all of the dragons. In this story, the little girl sees dragons and their problems, but really they're children, children who act like dragons. Do you ever wear mismatched socks? Sometimes it's fun to have different colors or different patterns on your feet. Do you sometimes eat in the cafeteria like a dragon, devouring and not stopping? Can you imagine if dragons were in your library where we're supposed to be quiet and respectful and calm? Wouldn't it be fun to have dragons in your music room where sometimes you're allowed to be noisy with the musical instruments or even with your voice singing songs? And everyone and everything gets tired and needs a rest. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you love the illustrations as much as I do. Thanks for joining me, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.